Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowles Central. We got a situation on our hands here with uh, with Forza Motorsport. I'm here to review it for you, uh, but I'm going to be honest, I haven't really played it as much as I would have liked uh, in order to offer you said review, although I've played it enough to, to feel comfortable with what it is, to come to grips with what it is, but uh, I'm going to lowball the score a little bit on this review, um, kind of regardless of the quality of the game. Uh, mostly because, or all because, um, I'm, I'm encountering, and I've Googled it, and it's, pretty, it's a pretty significant number of players who are experiencing the same thing. Basically, there's a cloud-saving glitch. Every time you um, level up your car, which is something that you do in this game, or every time you purchase a new car, you run the risk of it not being able to communicate to the cloud server uh, that you've made a change and then it needs to save and it cycles and cycles and cycles and guess what you just lost everything you just played in this whole last session gone so if you're like me and you don't want to have to redo and redo and redo just to make a little bit of progress because I've had to play some of these same races a few times and it's driving me nuts so if you're the kind of person that can stand to have that happen to you, losing progress just for the fuck of it, <laughs> I assure you I am not that kind of person. Uh, I am the kind of person who loves me some Forza uh, under normal circumstances, okay? So just know that that's kind of where I'm coming at this review from. A little bit crotchety about this one because, you know what, like Microsoft, as much as I love the old Xbox, <laughs> prime position in my living room, as much as I love it, uh, all this first party content that's coming out on Game Pass over the last year or two has been busted ass for the most part. Uh, like Redfall, busted ass. Uh, Starfield, not busted, but not exactly what we were promised. And now Forza, where I can't even make progress in the damn game. But let's talk about what the game is. Uh, specifically, let's talk about what Forza Motorsport is. Uh, versus the the earlier iterations of the series. So, when it comes to Forza, this is a this is Microsoft's sim racing series. It's an answer to Gran Turismo. Some would argue it's better than Gran Turismo. That's an age-old debate. Not going to go there. I have a preference, but I'm not going to tell you which it is. <laughs> um, but anyway, in past iterations, there's the main series, and there's Forza Horizon. Which so there's basically two series. Forza Horizon's a totally different beast. It's really fast, it's really fun, it's colorful, it's creative. It's about a festival that takes place across the whole continent and you just go from thing to thing to thing. That's my Forza experience. I love Horizon. Um, but I'm a fan of the main series too. So Forza Motorsport here is somewhat of a reboot of the main series. Forza 7 came out quite a while ago now. and. We're on the, the new Xbox Series consoles, and they've really updated what this game looks like, how it plays, how it sounds, what it's capable of doing as far as recreating real on-road, on-track on um, racing. You know, the, the, everything down to the points of contact on a single tire has been increased. Um, the, the variables based on nighttime versus daytime versus foggy conditions versus rainy conditions or, you know, whatever. All of it does affect uh, how the vehicle play, uh, drives to a much larger extent than it ever did before. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I got to tell you, it drives like a dream. It feels really, really great to drive this game. I'm only using a gamepad. I can't imagine what an actual like racing wheel feels like with this thing. I'm sure it's amazing, um, but but the thing is, is again like <laughs> there's there's an, there's there's more than just a few glitches, and that saving thing is really dysfunctional for a modern video game. Um, you know, and there's other there's other things that you can say about it that are not great. So. Basically what they've done is they've taken a series that used to be known for giving you all the cars you could ever want up front, giving you progressing through, uh, to purchase I should say, progressing through the um, campaign 
and you know making adjustments to your vehicle if you want to but kind of not kind of you know skipping all of that kind of skipping pole position kind of skipping um basically practicing and so in this game they decided to take kind of a bottom-up approach to a racing sim where you've got to practice each course before you actually race uh, and you actually level up your car like it's a role-playing game and you have the opportunity to tweak all your systems and tweak all your parts that's usually not what happens though usually you're like ah damn it i gotta practice so you practice and oh i upgraded my car and i leveled up my car a little bit so uh, i'll go ahead and do the auto uh, auto upgrading so it's like it's kind of a useless gesture as it turns out i find myself just flying through these screens um, flying through the practice, flying through the upgrade. I don't really care. It seems arbitrary to me. Uh, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to simulate. Because in real life, a person that can't just go spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars on cars and fly them through whatever track they want to do. There's qualifications for these things in real life. Um, but how it's implemented here, it does seem arbitrary. Why do I always have to practice? Why do I have to earn upgrades that I just put on auto to upgrade? It doesn't quite work. Not as well as, again, Forza Horizon, that series. Horizon 5, I gave it, I reviewed it here on Jeff Bull Central. I gave it a 10. 10 out of 10. Horizon 5 is just amazing. And I'm not saying it's absolutely better than this game. I understand the approach. It doesn't quite agree with me. Um, but... I don't know. I, I, I don't know that this was a step in the right direction. Just as a base game. Um, again, the driving, I have no issue with the driving. It feels great. It looks great. It Like the cars, they're both heavy. They're weighty. But but they, um, it, it behaves like a car. Like, it, you know, it, it, in, in, in more realistic terms than it ever has before. So I can't complain about that. What I can complain about, <laughs> what I can complain about, are these these endless looping saving screens that don't actually save and kill my progress. Right. So, <laughs> all that being said, um, you know, if if I had played this game and I haven't encountered that just game breaking glitch so many times, a dozen times by now, half a dozen, I don't know. I might have given this game an 8. Uh, it's not my favorite racing game, uh, just because it seems arbitrary how it's implemented. The racing is fantastic, that's a 10, fine. But I'm not a, the hugest fan of how all this stuff's been implemented. But guess what? I did encounter that game breaking glitch. Uh, and unless they patch this crap, I'm not really going to be super keen to play this game. So. It is uh, October 15th, 2023. The game came out about a week ago. They haven't fixed this yet. And assuming they never fix it, from me, this game gets a 6 out of 10. Um, I'm really, really upset because I really was looking forward to this. Pretty hardcore for like a year. Not great. Not great, Microsoft. Yeah, everybody do me a favor. Uh, check out my newest album. This is called Bridges Burn by Audiophile. That's me. Uh, check it out on Spotify, uh, iTunes, Amazon Music, Pandora, Tidal, whatever you want. YouTube. It's here on my YouTube channel for free. If you just hop over to my main page and you can scroll down to my music, you'll see uh, Bridges Burn. It's a cool album. Lots of good music, uh, rock, and you know some acoustic vibes and old school vibes and blues vibes. So I think you'll like it. We are done. You feel that? Do you feel it? <laughs>